So hi guys, Tim here, going to do another military um, historical video for you today and this one will be essentially the order of the British Army in the Second World War. So uh, without further ado, I'll start. So um, what you got at the top, the top of the top is what you call the Army Council. And now the Army Council essentially is the same as, you know, any, you know, county council in you know, in the world, in, in different parts of the UK, uh, that it controls different, you know, areas of the British Army. The Army Council, though, controls, you know, what's the army going to be like, counselling it, you know, things like that. Essentially the same thing. So the Army Council. Then, underneath that, you got your armies. So you got your 15th Army, 21st Army group, sorry, these are. Um, so we'll follow the path of just... Um, you know, of the most famous ones, essentially British ones. So, pardon me. So you get the twenty first Army Group. Then we go down to the armies: first Army, second Army, eighth Army, ninth Army, tenth Army, twelfth, and the famous fourteenth Army who fought in the Far East in Burma. So if we if we take so from the twenty first Army, we get the famous second and eighth Army. So uh, the eighth Army very famously uh, was um, fought under uh, Montgomery, so well, technically Montgomery was the commander of the 8th Army during the North African campaign, 1942-43, uh, then went on to fight in Italy, Sicily and Italy, un under the same commander, Montgomery. Then in 19 then June 1944, the 2nd Army went along to uh, press home the uh, landings on Sword Beach on the 6th of June 1944 for the Normandy invasion. So we've gone from the 21st Army Group to the British 2nd Army. So essentially, think of those Russian dolls, that, that kind of wooden ones that go inside another, uh, and one another. That's essentially what it is. You get the Army Council, 21st Army Group, 2nd Army. Now in the 2nd Army, you get what are called corps. So you get 1st Corps, well, your famous, famous one, 1st Corps, your 5th Corps, 8th Corps, all that. So we'll form the say the first corps, yeah, um, and underneath that you get more corps, because there are a lot of corps, so 30th corps, most famous one there, so we've gone from the army council and then straight down to the British, 20, well essentially 21st army group, 2nd army, 30th corps, yeah. and now in the 30th Corps, you get your, well, you can either get your armoured divisions, you know, things like um, 7th Armoured Division, 6th Armoured Division, Guards Armoured Division, depending if you're in an armoured unit, like the Royal Tank Regiment, so that, um, but, if I can find it, here, Oh, one, here we are. So then, when from the, then you go from your your cause into a much into uh into your infantry divisions. And now these are your infantry divisions uh, formation signs that essentially um, have all your units inside them. Like so, for example, so so we've gone from twenty first army group, um, second army, thirtieth corps, say. Uh, say, 3rd Infantry Division, there, which housed the, uh, the 1st, uh, yeah, 1st Battalion Suffolk Regiment that landed on Sword Beach on the 6th of June 1944. So in, in the 3rd Infantry Division, you get the Suffolk Regiment, or essentially the, the, uh, 1st Infantry Division, be a Suffolk Regiment, um, you can also get your Royal Army Service Corps, your Royal Engineers, your... Um, Royal Artillery, your Royal Army Ordnance Corps, uh, your Royal Edge Command Chemical Engineers from 1942 um, and so forth. So in your infantry divisions you get your supporting roles like the Royal Artillery, you actually get your regiments, you get your engineers, you know, Royal Engineers, um, you get your services, Royal Army Service Corps, and ones like that. And, um, and, and then in your infantry divisions, as I said about the Suffolk Regiment. Uh, you can get multiple regiments to an infantry division, 
but I've just picked the most famous one. Um, in the 3rd Infantry Division, you can get your Suffolk Regiment there. And you can even get um, the Yorkshire Regiment, which here it is, East Yorkshire Regiment there. So, uh, hopefully that wasn't me waffling on a bit um, further, if it wasn't waffling on. But um, for this, I used the very famous Blanford um, British Army Badges and Insignia's book of the Second World War. Just to, be, just to show you a little bit of kind of how you can get from the 21st Army Group um, right the way down to infantry divisions, then to regiments uh, of the Second World War. I will be doing a follow-up video of this on uh, how essentially the British Army can go from a regiment right down to a single person essentially, and the tactics and manoeuvres and drills, um, you know, of it. So, thanks for watching guys, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!